guys. I'm in my Grinch pajamas, so it is a Christmas video. No, I just woke up and I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> it is a Christmas video, but I'm, there might be videos that aren't Christmas where I'm wearing pajamas. That's standard on my channel. Very authentic over here on uh, Taylor Marie. So I went to Dollar Tree. It's a smaller haul, only about 30 something dollars. It's a lot of uh, Christmas stuff, mostly to give gifts. So you guys know, Everybody knows this, at least. Even people who aren't avid Dollar Tree shoppers. Dollar Tree is the best place to go for, like, gift bags and things of that nature. So, I'm going to be showing you guys some of that and some other little goodies as well. So, I wrap the majority of my presents. I love wrapping gifts. Uh, my mom will wrap some gifts, but she definitely prefers gift bags. So she asked me to go to Dollar Tree for her and pick up some gift bags. And she said, get me five big ones and five medium-sized ones. So I'm going to show you some gift bags. But it's still so worth turning on my channel, especially the smaller ones. They have a new design this year that I am obsessed with. They had promised when they gave us the, the $0.25 cents increase. You can tell I just woke up, man. That they would be like changes there would be things would be bigger things would be better things things that they've been wanting to offer and couldn't because they were stuck at that one dollar price point and i've been showing you guys little things here and there and i said wow for a dollar 25 the upgrade is amazing like last year i bought candy canes for the front of my house this year i bought candy canes that light up that shows the difference with paying an extra 25 cents so i'll show you the gift bags these are my mom's five bigger bags so I just thought it was so cute. I love the touch of the glittery snow, the glitter um, snowman, uh, Santa suit, the scarf, and then you even have some glitter in the hot air balloon. I love their details. Even the little thing to write to and from matches the beautiful um, hot air balloon. And let's see what's on the side. Oh, it just continues on and it's stars. Because sometimes they even have designs right on the sides. Like it's crazy how much detail they put into their gift bag. So that was one of them. And then this one, I did get some kiddier ones and some just really neutral ones. I love this one. It's just a classic Merry Christmas with a ton of different designed trees. I love this look. I definitely prefer those, but I know my mom's definitely gifting to some kids. So I figured she did some bigger bags. I love, I got like two of these. They look almost like that craft paper, which I know is really popular for Christmas for people to wrap. And I love the foil look of the ornaments. You guys see that shine as I'm kind of moving at the reflection and it says holly jolly it has touches of plaid it is so so beautiful i will say one thing with the idolatry bags is the front is always cuter than the back so if you look at the back it's the exact image but no foil it's just all matte and then this is the other craft paper bag right here and it says joyful noel merry christmas season greetings uh winter wishes and holiday cheer it's like just all the different w ways to wish someone happy holiday season and again the back has no glitter but the front does and i just thought it was so beautiful i love all the different like fonts and prints and then this is the last like clear one for the bigger bags and it's just a really cute santa holding a candy cane and i love that this one is the standard Christmas colors. We got the green and red. And this tag legit matches exactly what you see on the back. This is what I mean by even the details. Look underneath. You have some red striping. And then the sides. All those beautiful snowflakes. The print continues. Super cute. Now the smaller bags. Let's get into those. Because that is where I was like. Oh my god. For the 25 cents increase. So I'll show you the three plainer f ones first. So... This one, even though it's plain, I love it. It's a really cute, like, stripe print. And this one's more bigger horizontal versus vertical. And I love the stripe look. It almost kind of reminds me of, like, an ugly Christmas sweater. You have little stars, little trees. What I love about this one is the tag. Are you guys ready for this? It's big, obnoxious, and says, do not open until Christmas. I thought that was so, so cute. And then this one is the same stand, the same size as that one, longer this way. And it says, Holly Jolly Merry Christmas. And you have a cute little, like, it looks like a drawn snowman. But the tag on this one is a really, really cute Santa hat. I love that. And then this one, like, I figured I'll get this one again if my mom has to give to an adult. It's just really pretty. And it just says, Happy Holidays. And it has, like, the holly on it. 
but the silver and happy holidays is so beautiful and that's a little tag with that one these two are the two that i was like oh my god these are perfect to give kids so i'll show i'll save my best for last there's two of them these are let me open this so you guys can get the full effect so it's a penguin he's wearing a hat a beanie with a palm puff ball but do you guys see it's a shaker that glitter moves there's like a clear plastic film here if you guys can see that that is so stinking cute i've seen shaker cards i know people who make their own journals like bullet journaling videos or junk journaling videos they make their own shaker little elements i've never seen a shaker on a bag it is so stinking cute and the next one is the same exact thing but the design on it is adorable it looks like a snow globe and it has the shaker snow it says Merry Christmas and it's Santa, a penguin and a snowman on a tree in the red truck. Like I am obsessed and you can literally shake it like you would a snow globe and the snow moves around. All right. So that is the gift bags. And then I made a ton of gift baskets on my channel last year. This year I am not making as many. I think I'm only making one, two tops. Um, I'm just doing things a little different this year. Uh, if you guys, I, I think I gonna film a video for i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gifting my cousins their gifts they're kind of getting like a christmas eve night basket but i'm not putting it in a basket but they're gonna each get a set of pajamas a hot cocoa bomb a face mask a little marshmallow treat and i'm kind of putting it just in a little treat bag and putting their pajamas in a separate box and then i'm tagging their, their i'm taping their treat bag to their box i think i'm gonna do like a gift wrapping video too you guys will see all that on my channel but my brother's girlfriend is doing gift baskets, but she has never, she always just gave the basket as is. And when I've given her gift baskets in the past, I always have like the little baggie over it. And she's like, oh, I love that. She was like, I just don't know how to do it. Like, would you be willing to help me? So we go to my mom's every other Sunday for dinner. So the Sunday before Christmas Eve, the week before, we'll be at my mom's having dinner. And I told her I would bring the materials over and do it with her. So I grabbed three of them because she said she had five gift baskets. These include two each for the dollar twenty-five. Um... And basically, it's exactly what it says. You fill the basket with the items. You place the, you open up the bag. You place the gift basket inside. So if there's a handle on the top, it's easy. If there isn't a handle, you kind of have to be gentle with it. And then you literally just take the bag and tie it up. And I buy cute ribbon from Dollar Tree as well. They had these in red for Christmas time. I figured she just wanted the standard clear. So I picked those up. And then I um, bought this because I always bring treats. So the houses that I go to. So I go to my mom's for Christmas Day and I go to Joe's mom's for Christmas Eve. So I have a friend who recently started a little side business. She's making desserts, cookies, um, cheesecake balls. Um, she makes full on cakes too, but she focuses more on like little treats. And I thought this year, maybe I could support her instead of giving myself another thing to put on my to-do list and make treats. Maybe I'll just buy it from her. She's reasonably priced. She's my friend. I'm helping supporting her business. But I did notice when she posted it that she was charging an extra, I think $5 if you wanted it in a holiday tin. And as much as I want to support her, I also need to save a little bit of money. So I think I'm just going to order it. And she puts it in a standard white cardboard box. And I'm going to switch it over into these. For $1.25, save myself a little money, and I'm still supporting her. So I got two, because like I said, one is going to be for Joe's mom's house. One is going to be for my mom's house. This one I love because it literally looks like it's all a different bunch of cookies on here. You have the gingerbread man, the snowflake, the tree, the heart, and it looks like they're iced, like it's meant to look like cookies. But what I love is the top is clear. So it is meant to be like a little dessert box. So I'll probably put some kind of like doily on the bottom and then lay out all the treats. Um, I will say this also does make really good presents. You know, it doesn't have to be treats. You can put some tissue paper. If you have really cute little trinkets and gifts you want to give, give an ornament as a gift. This would be beautiful as well. So I got one design for my mom's house and another design for Joe's mom's house. And this one is very classic. It's just a bunch of different ornaments with the holly. And again, it has the opening. And then I thought just in case, I like to be prepared in case things don't fit in there. I grabbed two of these. And these are cookie bags. I grabbed one of these. I mean, it comes with two. 
so you can't beat that for a dollar 25 so it has this this is the bottom of the bag that makes it sturdy and hard and then you would lay out all the cookies on here and then you just wrap the bag around it and again it just looks like a bunch of ornaments and then it includes the red string and the tag that says to and from. So this is also good for gift giving if you are giving homemade goodies as gifts. So I grabbed those three things for that. Then I grabbed the one sign. They have been killing it with the wall stuff lately ever since that 25 cents increase. It's usually used to just be standard square rectangle. But I showed you guys some killer signs for Halloween. They had some that were in the shape of moons um so many different ones so when i saw this one i said oh my god i have to get it and what i like about this one is i can keep it out all winter so it's not just christmas and it looks like a sled how beautiful is that they did have the standard one that said merry christmas with like santa but i said let me get let it snow because i can leave this out literally till like the end of february march if i want to and it does have a little bit of touch of christmas because the light bulbs but not a lot that it screams christmas and you got the two the three q um snowmen the winter wintery snowy scene the trees the sled i just thought it was so cute and the snow on the tree is glitter which i love and it just says let it snow with the little snowflakes and then the last thing i'll call joe back in one second is just some treats so i grabbed this box of 25 mini candy canes I like to throw these um, on my hot cocoa bar. If I give people mugs as presents, I'll throw a few in a mug. Um, could even throw this in my cousin's gifts with their little marshmallow treat. So that's a good price. And then I grabbed, oh, I needed batteries. I don't usually do Dollar Tree batteries because they're not long lasting, but this is for something that is for Christmas. Um, so I only need it to work till December 25th. I mean, not exactly, January 1st, whatever. Um, it's to light up those candy canes I talked about that are going outside my house. Because then after that, they're just going to go in storage until next year. I grabbed these blue raspberry straws. I usually, I think I also grabbed, yeah, a Milky Way. They always get me with the treats at the register. Can't help myself. Especially this time of year. I feel like they have the fancier ones. Like the Ghirardelli. They don't always have that. Ghirardelli. They even had a Godiva. I think because they know people make like little gift baskets and stuff for Christmas. I also grabbed two more of these. You guys saw it in a previous haul. These are the hot cocoa bombs that my baby cousins are getting with their pajamas and their face mask. These are new this year. They oh, they had hot cocoa bombs last year, but they were standard. These are peppermint flavored hot cocoa bombs. This is right there at the bottom. You could tell with the red and white stripe. I knew, I was like, wow, is the packaging different or is there something different about these? And as I got closer, I realized they were peppermint. I don't like peppermint, but I did want to buy a few of these to put on my hot cocoa bar or someone does like peppermint. I also have peppermint spoons on my hot cocoa bar. I like to give people options. I do want to film a hot cocoa bar video. So I'm going to try to do that soon. I have a lot going on. You guys know I just started a new job. I haven't even said I start Monday, but it's been a lot. Uh, trying to prepare for my old job for me to leave and have all the kids like organized, like their stuff organized and ready to go. And now getting into this new job. Um, kind of the worst time of year for it. But you know what? New year, fresh start. Anyway, so I did pick up two more of these because the other three I bought are getting gifted. And then I grabbed, oh, another thing of batteries. Yeah, because I needed, they, each candy cane, I'm not going to lie, needs two batteries, which is kind of a lot. Which I didn't mention in that video because I didn't know at the time. But if you guys know what video I'm talking about, now you know. Um, and there, I have 10 of them. So that means I need 20 batteries. And there's only eight of these. So this was only, two pack was only 16 so I ended up having to buy three, and it's AAA batteries, if you guys wanted to know. And then I grabbed these last three things were at the register. I figured I would throw this in with my nephew's stocking. So these are glow-in-the-dark swishy, pa swishy pals. I actually grabbed him two of these already last time I was at Dollar Tree, but they weren't glow-in-the-dark. This was new. And these are basically, you can stretch them and squeeze them. They're just kind of like a sensory toy. They're very popular right now. And it literally says so many to collect. So kids are, this is very popular. I know, especially with the kids I work with at the school, they love it too. And then these are the little blind bags. They always have these. Um, you can like collect them. You never know what you're going to get. It's part of the fun. Are you going to get the whole collection? You know what I mean? Um, this one, I'm not sure how he feels about dinosaurs, but I said, whatever, I'll just get it to dollar 25. This is Jurassic World. And it says, build it surprise activity. You get one plastic dinosaur and instruction sheet. And it says, which one will you get? And it looks like there's three different ones. And then this one is Hot Wheels. And I know he likes those. And again, it says, build a surprise. Which one will you get? One ready to assemble plastic car and one instruction sheet. And it looks like there's three different ones to get. 
So it's like flat. So I was like, you can build out of this. So a mice must just be like a cute little 3D model of a car. Um, they are thicker. So this isn't paper in here. It's like like plastic sleeves. So I just thought that was really cute. It's a cute little activity for him to do. Um, so yeah, that was everything I grabbed at Dollar Tree. Definitely let me know what your favorite item was down below. Um, I guess for me, it would probably be between the sign and these like little treat boxes. I really do love these. These are perfect. If you like, if you're gonna go to somebody's house for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, perfect. They can just keep the container. It was only a dollar twenty-five. Um, this is really cute too. Like I said, for gift giving, even if you're giving someone, even a mug. Like I usually make it a little basket. I'll put like cellophane wrap. But if your mug is small enough, which I'm sure it is, especially if you lay it down, not if you're standing it up. But if you lay it down, if it's not you know thicker than this put a little tissue paper, put the mug, you can put even like the hot cocoa bomb if it fits, um, or a hot cocoa packet, like there is so many creative things you can do with the items at Dollar Tree, that is why I love this store, if you like Dollar Tree, you like me, give the video a thumbs up, it helps with the YouTube algorithm, like I said, let me know what your favorite item down was below, are you adding any of this to your list, I know kids really get a kick out of these, and you can't beat it for $1.25, uh, but yeah, that is it for this video guys, be safe.